Welcome to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show, where you get advice you can trust from the Capital Region's leading experts in real estate and all related fields. From the latest real estate trends to the best mortgage rates, from curb appeal to home warranty, this is the talk show that will help you save and make the most when it comes to buying or selling your most valuable asset. Now, here's your host, broker and founder of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, The Property Shop, John Bevilacqua. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Johnny G. What's up, my man? Hey, what's going on? What's doing outside right now? Wonderful weather out there. A little rain? That's terrible. (laughs) It is terrible out there. But the weather's playing into the show today because we've got got a weather-related show. we got Matt Stonecipher back in the house from Ace Home Inspection. Morning, gentlemen. We'll be talking about some winterization tips. Good and idea. how the winter weather here in the Northeast affects your home oh, and affects boy. us as Ice people. And snow. Yeah. I mean, can you tell with my lovely my lovely microphone voice this morning? Like my sinuses are like going I can't tell, but I mean, stuff. it sounds more. It's more. I, I know what you mean. I sound you like can Mr. Hear more in your head than you can. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I, I yeah, feel like I but, sound uh, like Mister T. Like I'm a couple octaves lower today I, 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 without the gold chains. But I always right. wanted to pull off like one of those feather earrings that he. You remember like on an <laughs> yeah, team? Yeah, I remember it's those. Yeah. Team. Anyway, all right. Enough about Mister T. Yeah, you're predating me a little bit. Yeah, every yeah. Oh, really? Oh, no. I feel like the A-team. Everybody knows the A-team. But um, <laughs> Mr. Anyway. T, how would you like your coffee? In a cup full? That's right. In a cup, in a cup full. Here, you got to do my voice thing. All right, listen. So here, here's why we're here, guys. We are here to bring our listeners here in the Capital Region. Hey, in fact, anywhere in upstate New York or where you can stream this, I mean, the link will pretty much let you listen to the show. Yeah, we're all over the place. All over the place. So the idea is to give you guys the most up-to-date information, tips, tricks, market conditions. Uh, I mean, we talked about some industry, some heavy topics last week. We talked about the industry lawsuit that's going on right now with the National Association of Realtors. Um, but but mo- most importantly, we're trying to give you guys tips on on what to do and more importantly, what not to do when going to sell or buy a home. It's what I've been doing for about 20 years now. I'm not bragging, just applying for the job of, of selling your home. So you might hear me mention that a few times on the show. But this is a call-in show, guys. So we want to give you guys the direct line to Johnny G, who's working the switchboards, 476-5900-476-5900. You can go. give us a call. You can. Yeah. Um, you got Matt on for half an hour, so anything home-related, give us a call. Tell us stories. Think about some winter related nightmares. Oh yeah. On on owning a home in upstate New York. Yeah, if you're and we're a gonna talk, you got some. We're gonna talk <laughs> about that yeah. after we hear a quick spot from our sponsors. You're gonna hear Matt's commercial and we're gonna come right back and hit the show. To schedule an appointment with John Bevilacqua to help you buy or sell your home, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. John will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guarantee Radio Show here on Magic 100.5 and AM 590. It's John Tesh. If you're thinking of selling your home, let me take the stress out of deciding which agent to hire. In the capital region, the agent I recommend is John Bevilacqua founder of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty at the Property Shop. So for two decades, John has helped more than 2,500 families buy and sell the place they call home. That's a solid track record, one that's backed up by dozens of five-star reviews. Hello. In fact, John is so confident in his marketing system to attract the right buyer for your home that he guarantees to sell it at a price and deadline you agree to or he's going to buy it himself for cash. And he provides that guarantee in writing. The agent I trust is John Bevilacqua, and he's the agent you should trust too. His name is his promise, Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. So write this number down. It's 518-957-SOLD. That's easy. 518-957-7653. Or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. I love that one. johnnyhasthebuyers.com, and you'll get your home sold guaranteed. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. What's really the best rate? Which term makes sense? Hi, I'm Ben Forcucci at Freedom One Funding in Latham. We work with 10 different lenders who provide 100 different mortgage products. I'll listen to what your needs are, and then I'll do the work to find the right option for your particular situation. We have special expertise in helping first-time home buyers. So eliminate the stress and call me today at 542-LOAN. I'm Ben Forcucci from Freedom One Funding, and I'll do the shopping for you. Call 542-LOAN. Buying or selling the place you call home can be stressful. When you have questions, you don't want to wait for answers. Well, for 20 years, Kim Salerno and her team at Salerno Law have built a solid reputation with buyers, sellers, and real estate agents as fast, respectful communicators. They know Salerno Law will protect their rights and respond quickly when a question arises. Trust Salerno Law. Call 518-309-3404 and check out their five-star reviews at salernolawny.com. 
If you're buying or selling your home and would like to schedule an appointment with John, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show and your host, John Bevilacqua. Okay, guys, we're back. We are back with my man, Matt Stone Cipher from Ace Home Inspections. Matt's been doing home inspections for 10 plus years, veteran owned company. This guy's got a, a, an additional septic and uh, septic company that he does excavating, septic work, tanks, well water filtration. Well, wa- d- dude, all kinds and, of stuff. you know, from a D box to the leach fields, this guy's your guy. And and unfortunately, Matt, I mean, fortunately for Matt, he's been busy. We wanted to get him on the show to talk about winterization tips for your house, which. I feel like we're a little late, but after we just talked about it off the air, we're probably right on time. It's supposed to be like in the mid forties this weekend. We're still right on time. So, so none of us here, yeah. uh, everybody in in the studio right now, is guilty of not doing some of the things <laughs> that we've, we're going to talk about today. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I think our timing's good. Okay. So, with that being said, again, I just want to remind everybody: it's a call-in show four seven six five nine zero zero. Give us a call. We're going to be hitting this topic hard, and we want to hear some stories or questions about home winterization. So. So, Matt, listen, um, the Northeast uh, winters are tough, and really, like, where do people start? Like, what's what's some rules of thumb here to get your house ready for the winter season? So, the biggest thing you want to do is stop those drafts off those heat losses. Okay. Heat losses cause huge issues, you know, and we have a lot of old houses in the Capital District. Right. I mean, we see houses all the time that don't even have insulation in the attic. Yeah, I know. Um, or so vermiculite. Vermiculite, right. or the uh-huh. old wooden windows that you can yep. feel the wind blow by. Oh, so, boy, yeah. so getting those leaks sealed up would be your key thing. You know, making sure your attic insulation good, looks good, no gaps in that insulation or anything up there. Correct. And kind of the same thing on your windows. If you got drafty windows, get some of that plastic stuff. Let's get that sealed up. Let's get those air gaps, right. you know, built between the two spaces and stop those drafts. And it's not a wives' tale with the with the plastic wrap that, that it's not. A, it looks. Dryer, I get that right? it looks silly, but it, it does work. It gives you an air gap to yep. hold that air to help it give a little bit more R value. Okay, and it also will stop those drafts from coming through. Right. So that's that's the short term fix. If somebody wants to take on a project to, you know, re insulate some stuff, is now the time to do that, or is that something to wait till spring? Uh, so if you were to call an insulation company now, they're probably pretty busy. Right. Um, so it'd be hard to get on the schedule, but, you know, it's definitely something worth considering if you're realizing it's having an issue. Improving efficiency things. I mean, you know, John, buyers are looking for that stuff now. Houses are pulling a bigger price point. They're going to look for those improvements when they're looking to buy a house. So it's even an investment in probably the value of the long term of a home. Not to mention national grid, grid keeps going up and up. And yeah, up. energy mm-hmm. costs are not going down. Right. That's right. And that's a good point about calling contractors right now because one of these one of these items I am guilty of, which is is we'll get into this next is, is heating system maintenance. Yep. So after I wrote uh, the sh- I okay. wrote the show this week and I'm like, oh, man, I got to call. I'm not going to mention the the vendor, but I'm going to call the guy that installed my my uh, uh, my yeah, gas fired yeah. heater in my house because right. it's been like four years and I haven't had it so oh, John it's annual man annual. I know it is okay but yeah so, I get my so track every me. single year and it's so yeah the same on my same on my you office. gotta do so, it man. so yeah. I call the vendor up and I'm like hey listen you know how much does it cost and how you know when can you guys get to my house he's like well it's gonna be about 300 bucks and I'm really like, Why, what, that's kind of I thought that was kind of crazy, I right? I, I thought much, it would but be, but you're not on a service contract with them you're gonna get a different you're price gonna point get, that's a good point I suppose so but you know so okay, long yeah, story yeah. short, right? A, yeah. You know, two ninety five for the service, and he's like, "We can probably get there by April." <laughs> I'm like, no, right. no, 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 uh, that do ain't that gonna again. work. Coming into cooling no. season, yeah. Right. So, but talk to us, man. Talk to us about about main, r- routine maintenance and yeah. systems. So the biggest thing is if you're not on a service contract with an HVAC company, get on one. Okay. That's going to get you priority service. They're going to make sure you get that annual service because they want to come out and check that system. Yep. And if you have a no yep. heat issue, it's not going to happen in the middle of a mild day. It's going to be New Year's Eve. It's going to mm-hmm. be the negative 30 degree drop day. Yeah, of course. One of those days, you're going to be on priority list for them because you yep. have maintained a service contract where if you just call them up and like, hey, I have no heat. They may turn to you and go, I don't have any. I can be there in three days. Can you go yeah. three days without yeah. heat? Probably not. Yep. So That's get right. on a service contract. Don't just call. Don't will call or anything like that. Service contract with an established HVAC provider, which we probably... Fortunately, we have a bunch of those in the Capital District that are very good and trustworthy. Well, that's great. So you can call Matt for a good referral on that. Four seven six five nine zero zero. Guys, give us a call. Tell us about your no heat call, about your heating systems. Uh, gutters. Gutters. Big one. Yep. Got a story already about the gutters. So one of our, uh, we have a property in central New York and our, our property manager, Ike Bembry, great guy. Love Ike. He he calls me two weeks ago. He's like, Johnny B, we got six inches of snow. 
heavy snow, the soffit gets pulled down. Yeah, all that weight. Creates a channel. All the water melts mm. and basically funnels into a tenant's window and, you know, yep. a couple of sheets of drywall later. Yeah. yeah. You know, we got... You're in we trouble. Got, yeah. we, got a, we got an issue. So yeah. what can we do, Matt, to, to kind of... Uh, first that. things first, make those th- make sure those things are working. Make sure they're clean, not full of leaves. I mean, we've, we're just coming out of fall. Everybody's gutters are probably full of leaves. Yep. Once those suckers freeze in there, it's going to be hard to pull them back out. Yeah, that's and true. once those gutters are clogged, water's got nowhere to go, but there's a perfect spot for it to sit on the edge of your roof, and it can cause an ice dam. It can cause water to go back up into your right. shingles. can cause water damage that you may not even see until it becomes a big problem. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So it's it, you, you get the... The postcards in the mail, you see in the newspaper, the, the gutter helmets and, and those yep. types of products. Recommended, not recommended? They do work. I yeah. mean, they definitely have a place, especially okay. if you have a house that has a persistent issue. You got trees hanging over your roof. Yes. Leaves are a challenge. They're always a challenge. Gutter helmets have a place and they do work. Okay. But if, even if you don't want to go spend the money on gutter helmets. I was going to say, what's the cheaper fix? Clean them. Just clean get up them. there with a ladder yeah. and clean them out. Even You can even hire a company to do it. It's not that expensive. No, it's but not you, bad at all. Yeah. No. I, yeah. I paid between 100 and 120 It's very so. reasonable. No. And there's plenty of people around that do it because it's yeah. an easy thing for somebody that's getting into the trades to yeah. start with. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a good trade off than me getting on the 10 foot ladder with the Absolutely. Leaf blower. Okay. Yeah. I, I think yeah, make I, I, somebody I, else take I'm not doing that. Safer trade. Yeah. Um, okay, good. And so. Gutters relate to roof. Yep. Talk to me. Roof. What's so with your here? roof? Take put take a good look at it before we start getting snow on a roof. Before we get ice on a roof, just step back, look, grab a pair of binoculars. Anything you can do, even call a H, uh, you know, a home inspection company like Ace, and we can come out and do a roof inspection. Awesome. Make sure that roof is serviceable because things are not going to get better with ice, snow. If your roof is at the cusp of needing a replacement, winters are hard. Yeah. And if you know your roof is older. Post bad storm when it starts when your snow melts off you can see it. Yep. Go around, take a look on it, keep an eye on that roof. Winter is the hardest season for roofs. Yeah. You know yeah. we get ice, we get snow, we get rapid heat changes. Mm-hmm. When we have days like last year where we were like fifty and then it was below zero the next day. Yeah. You get drastic changes in the sheathing of your roof. It can cause a roof issue in itself. It can yeah. cause the nails to actually back themselves out completely on their own because the wood drastically changed size. So when that nail backs out, it pulls up the shingle? It can give you a leak point, can give you a hole, give you a loose shingle, the shingles can fall. There's a bunch of issues that can happen with a roof, especially if your roof's got a little bit of age to it. So I'm giving myself props because I called, I have a slate roof Mm. and I called the, there's a, I call him the the slate gnome. There's one guy in the city of Albany that, 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 does slate roof still, and he jumps up on your roof and like he's little. They can like go across the roof without breaking them. I don't know how. Good thing he, you found him. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so he yeah. repl- It was I think it was like two fifty. He replaced I think four slate tiles and just kind of gave me a yeah. good checkup. And yeah. it was yeah. it was I think it was worth it. So yeah. so roofs are huge. Um, you know, biggest service calls in the industry are probably no heat. And pipe bursts. Yeah. Right? So yeah. and again, I wanted to cover the big five in case we ran out of time. Or we went For sure. Yeah. yeah. So. W- Pipe protection, let's talk about So we're going to start with one thing. If you've got, like, a, say you use a wood stove, pellet stove, a wood-burning fireplace in your living space a lot, okay. and you're like, oh, I don't need to run my heat. You need to remember one thing, and it's that that system is not going to heat your basement. Right. So it is not uncommon for people to get burst pipes in a house because they're only using their wood stove because their basement's cold. So you still want to make sure your basement stays at that, like, 50 degrees, mm-hmm. 45, 50 degrees, nothing less than that to make sure it doesn't freeze. Same thing if you travel. Don't shut your heat down completely. Keep it at a mild level right. and keep an eye on the you know, weather conditions. Um, on top of that, if you have older style hose bibs that aren't frost free, you want to make sure to shut those down because that's an easy place that water can burst right. and it can you know just pour out of your house. You may not even notice on the outside. Yeah, Matt, what is that, what is that thing called? I have two outdoor faucets on my house. And I have those styrofoam things I put on them yep. every winter. Yeah, the what? little frost protection, little hats it, that go over Yeah, them. right, right. And that's a good idea, right? Yeah, anything you can do to protect those, because that's the yeah. closest your water is likely going to get to the exterior, especially in an older house. Right. Newer houses, they're frost-free. The valve actually goes all the way inside the basement, and there's actually a rod hooked to your handle. If yeah. they're not a newer style frost free, you really got to make sure they're protected and shut down for the winter. Yeah, mm-hmm. and just it, it's simple as just shutting it off from the inside and making sure that the exterior Yeah, I don't, I actually don't have a way to shut off. No shut offs? N- no shut off for for those outdoor valves, but I keep them covered. It's always warm in the basement. You got to call your yeah. HOA. Well, it's not Johnny. an issue anyway. You got to call No, the they HOA. won't cover that. They won't cover. That. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. All right, listen, we we just hit 5 of the top 10 tips for Northeast home winterizations. After the break, Matt and I are going to talk about the last five, and then we're going to wrap up the show. So stay right there. 
Don't turn that dial, as they like to say. We'll be back at the Your Home Soul Guaranteed Radio Real Estate Talk Show on Magic 100.5. To schedule an appointment with John Bevilacqua to help you buy or sell your home, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. John will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guarantee Radio Show here on Magic 100.5 and AM 590. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. What's really the best rate? Which term makes sense? Hi, I'm Ben Forcucci at Freedom One Funding in Latham. We work with 10 different lenders who provide 100 different mortgage products. I'll listen to what your needs are, and then I'll do the work to find the right option for your particular situation. We have special expertise in helping first-time homebuyers. So eliminate the stress and call me today at 542-LOAN. I'm Ben Forcucci from Freedom One Funding, and I'll do the shopping for you. Call 542-LOAN. Hi, I'm Matthew Stonecipher, owner of Ace Home Inspections. Whether you're buying or selling a home, let your agent know that you want to work with Ace Home Inspections because you insist on the best home inspection services in the Capital Region. You can also expect a home warranty, pest inspection, and mold assessment included at no additional cost. You deserve better than just a guy in a truck with a notepad. At Ace Home Inspections, we are fully staffed and here for you when you call 518-727-7091 or visit us online at acehomeny.com. If you're buying or selling your home and would like to schedule an appointment with John, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show and your host, John Bevilacqua. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm encouraging call-ins. This is a fun call-in show, guys. We're talking about winners in the Northeast, how it affects your homes, some of the tips and tricks and strategies that... Um, our guy, our resident home inspector, uh, Matt St- Stonecipher from ACE is, get, is really basically bringing us to school today on a lot of this stuff. But I also did want to throw in a quick pitch about our certified pre-owned program that could save you guys thousands of dollars, um, and, and avoid your house coming on and off the market because of some, you know, uh, pre-inspection stuff that Matt does for you when you, when, before you put your home on the market. So basically, we're going to have Matt come in, pre-inspect the house, get kind of get all the uh, the kinks out before you go under contract and have your house sold. And this gets st- discovered by another home inspector, and now you're 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 out thousands of dollars. You could your deal could fall apart. Um, the certified pre-owned program solves this dilemma for a lot of sellers. So if you guys are interested in that program, give us a call nine five seven sold nine five seven seventy six fifty three and make sure that you get your home pre-inspected by Matt before you put on the home. Before you mm-hmm. put on the market with me, so Matt, let's uh, let, let's start talking. Johnny, you had a question for yeah, Matt. Yeah, so Matt, I told I, us, I, let's see for the air. Yeah, so you ahead. know the condo complex I live in. Everybody has an outdoor AC unit, and each year I cover it with a piece of plywood wrapped in plastic and a kind of a, um, a brick to hold it so it doesn't blow away. Okay, um, which I understand is a great idea. And what I heard would, it, would that is not a great idea is to go out and buy one of those covers. That covers the entire unit because it attracts, well, rodents. Yeah, okay, wait, before that. you answer that, so all I do yeah. with mine is I take a piece of plywood and throw it on top. Yeah, so that's both your yeah. answers here. Covering the top is yeah. probably the most you want okay. to do. Right. And you don't even right. really have to do that. That's just kind of protecting it from any impacts, ice off the roof or anything like that, yes. depending on yeah. where it's sitting. Right. But you don't want to tighten and button that thing up with no. a tarp because no. it's going to hold condensation. It's going to corrode it and cause yeah. issues there. Yeah. It's also a perfect place for pests to live. That system's designed to drain. Oh, yeah. You don't oh, have to worry yeah. about snow getting in it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, All right. Good to know. Yep. I, I didn't put this on the list. Pool equipment. Um, ah, in particular, yeah. pool heaters, is that the same kind of... Yeah, throw a board over them yeah. just to keep okay. it kind of protected from the elements, ice and stuff like that. But again, if you give pests to home, they're going to move into that thing. Okay. Especially yeah. pool heaters. They tend to live in those things like anyways. Yeah. You okay. don't want to give them a nice, dry, warm place to live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. four seven six fifty nine hundred guys. Give us a call. Ask us some questions about home winterization tips. Um, chimneys and fireplaces, right? Yeah. It's getting cold. You People know, want to kick those to fireplaces Christmas. cranking. Wants to make oh, a nice yeah. so, fire in the oh, fireplace. Yeah. So the biggest thing, if you haven't had it swept, get it swept. How, how Chim- often, Matt? Once a year. Right. Once Before a year. you go into heating season, you should be getting that okay. chimney swept. Better safe than sorry. There is yeah. a lot of house in the Capital District that we lose every year oh, boy. to a chimney yeah. fire, which is 100% preventable. Right. Yeah. Now, if you've got an older house and you've had it swept but not inspected... Level two chimney inspection. They run a camera up. We actually do those right in Ace. We can okay. do those for you. There you go. Run a camera right up the inside of the chimney that rotates. We're going to look at the inside of that chimney. If you've got an older clay line chimney, 
about 80% failure rate on whether or not those are actually even safe to be burning wood in. And a lot of times we see that in houses that are actively using them. Wow. Yeah, we had uh, we had ours inspect. We bought the house six, seven years ago. We had ours inspected and it failed. It was a clay, clay yep. line chimney. They put in a stainless steel sleeve and... Which can be expensive, especially if you're going through buying a house, you want to use that chimney, you better get that thing inspected if it's clay line. In you fact, can be looking at upwards of ten, twelve thousand dollars for a stainless steel chimney liner now. Oh wow. Yeah, they've yeah. gone through the roof. They gave it was five grand back yeah. then they gave well, us I had no credit. idea. But the, the last but few the years have gone up. before us wow. was taking a portable air conditioner and snaking the exhaust of the air conditioner up <laughs> the chimney. Oh, no. oh man! Just so, put it in the wind. Uh, we don't need to get crazy with stuff. Crazy. Don't reinvent yeah, the wheel. Do Use stuff the way it's yeah. designed. Come I on! I mean, <laughs> nuts. Uh, okay, we talked about you know crevices and whatnot. Windows. Yep. I mean, we did cover them. Um, we do. We, you know, we talked about that uh, briefly about plastic wraps um, and the old hair dryer trick works well. Yep. Uh, but one thing we. We didn't talk about was snow removal equipment, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you? What's your take on that? All it's right. important. Like yeah. you don't want to be the guy in your block that's got to borrow your neighbor's snow. Right. Board. Make sure your <laughs> stuff right? works before we get the blizzard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then oh, if yeah. the blizzard's rolling in, check it again. Run your every time a blizzard's rolling in. Make sure your snow blower is fueled or whatever you've got. Plow truck, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Make sure shovels are in an accessible area, not in the shed that you're not going to be able to get to when it's got three feet of snow in front of it. The other thing is, you know, mark your driveways, mark your hazards, you know, keep, have a plan for where you're going to put that snow. Make sure snow is pushed far enough away from the driveways and everything. If you've got a longer driveway like I do, you've got to plan for that ahead of time. Yeah. The other big thing is, you know, if you don't have a plan, I see it every year. We go in the spring, we go inspect houses with garages and the garage door is smashed in because somebody pushed a snow bank into it. Oh, right? yeah. You know, be smart about snow placement yeah. Yeah. Uh, is probably that's a good, big part of that. But really point. making sure that you have a plan. You know, nobody wants to wake up in the morning to go to work and go, I don't have a plan on how to get out of my driveway. I yeah. just figured my four-wheel drive would be okay. I didn't know we were going to get four feet of snow last night. How yeah. about, a, how about a, speaking of snow removal equipment, how about a, 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 a snow rake, ice rake for your roof? Yeah, you right? can. Now, if you don't need to, okay. I wouldn't. Okay. Now, the main reason now, for that is a roof is designed for a snow load in the Capital District. Okay. And shingles are brittle. Yeah. So you can damage a roof. I see damage all the time. I could tell when I go on a roof. Ah, someone's hitting this with a metal snow rake because I can yeah. see the damage up the shingles 10 feet. Okay. Now, if you've got an older house that's prone to ice damming or an area that tends to hold snow, by all means, do what it, you need to do. But for the most part, your roof, especially on anything that's somewhat modern, it's designed for a snow load up here. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's you good. Know, and here's something that, that uh, I had a problem with years ago and I learned. Outdoor vents on you know, the side of the one. house. Good one, yeah. And if you get heavy snow, say we get a foot and a half or it piles up, those vents can get covered up with snow, and you do not want that to happen. Keep those vents clear. So okay. if we get a heavy snow, I always go outside and make sure everything's cleared out there. That's a good point. Yeah, especially with, like, newer HVAC systems. You yeah. can They're get all high-efficiency I mean, stuff. Yeah. 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 Most yeah. modern stuff will either shut down, will shut down at least if That's it stops true. venting. But some That's of the true. older high-efficiency stuff, yeah. they'll just start venting into the house. I mean, you could have a yep. serious carbon monoxide issue from that. Oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, Hey, absolutely. John, I think Matt's hiring, man. If, if yeah, if, if, oof, on the spot over here. Switch him over to Johnny on the spot, I guess. I don't want to go crawling in the snow. You're fixing appliances. I mean, you're applying for the job right now. It's no, great. I just, you know, I've just I got to warn you, addicts in, addicts in July are hard, though. Addicts in July. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> how, how about something simple like an emergency kit? I know I know, it's not so much home-related, but I feel like it's still something Still, I mean, if we lose power, you got to have a plan. you got to yeah. have ways to be able to see, you know, lights, flashlights, candles, things of that. You know, and also realizing, like, if you're in an area like I am out in the country, yep. you know, if you're on a well... You lose power, you have no water. Right. So if you're coming into a bad storm, prepare. Get some water stage. My wife loves to fill the bathtub mm -hmm. uh, so that you have access to water. But being prepared for the bad weather, especially when a storm's rolling in, just make sure you're prepared. Yep. You have your food, you have your water, you have lights, you have a plan. Generator. 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 Phones system. are charged. You don't yep. have a dead cell phone in case of an emergency. Last one to talk about because we've got a minute left. Outdoor considerations. Um, you know, we talked about gutters, trees, landscaping, yep. right? Yep. Um, Trim your stuff back. You know, bad storm, bad snow, bad ice. Trees are going to droop. They're going to drag on your roof. That roof we've already talked about is brittle or prone to damage. Siding is brittle and prone to damage. Yep. Making sure your bushes, your trees, everything is trimmed back from the house in enough distance so that in a storm, it's not going to be sitting there touching the house and breaking things. Okay, good. Uh, well, one more topic. We're going to take a quick sponsor break, come back, and we'll wrap up the show.
To schedule an appointment with John Bevilacqua to help you buy or sell your home, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. John will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guarantee Radio Show here on Magic 100.5 and AM 590. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. What's really the best rate? Which term makes sense? Hi, I'm Ben Forcucci at Freedom One Funding in Latham. We work with 10 different lenders who provide 100 different mortgage products. I'll listen to what your needs are, and then I'll do the work to find the right option for your particular situation. We have special expertise in helping first-time home buyers. So eliminate the stress and call me today at 542-LOAN. I'm Ben Forcucci from Freedom One Funding, and I'll do the shopping for you. Call 542-LOAN. Buying or selling the place you call home can be stressful. When you have questions, you don't want to wait for answers. Well, for 20 years, Kim Salerno and her team at Salerno Law have built a solid reputation with buyers, sellers, and real estate agents as fast, respectful communicators. They know Salerno Law will protect their rights and respond quickly when a question arises. Trust Salerno Law. Call 518-309-3404 and check out their five-star reviews at salernolawny.com. Hi, I'm Matthew Stonecipher, owner of Ace Home Inspections. Whether you're buying or selling a home, let your agent know that you want to work with Ace Home Inspections because you insist on the best home inspection services in the Capital Region. You can also expect a home warranty, pest inspection, and mold assessment included at no additional cost. You deserve better than just a guy in a truck with a notepad. At Ace Home Inspections, we are fully staffed and here for you when you call 518-727-7091 or visit us online at acehomeny.com. If you're buying or selling your home and would like to schedule an appointment with John, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show and your host, John Bevilacqua. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, we are just wrapping up the topic of home winterization tips with Matt Stonecipher from Ace Home Inspection, expert home inspector. The guy knows what he's talking about here in terms of everything that has to do with your house. But in, in particular, today we're talking about home winterization. We did, I did want to finish up the outdoor considerations. We talked about, you know, don't forget about patios and grills, guys. Like, you know, that stuff's expensive. Like, just putting a cover on that, at least your, your lawn furniture. I know, John, you, you do this. No, I year. actually bring my lawn furniture You in. bring it in, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I have a place in the basement where it goes. Yep. So any any other outdoor considerations that we didn't that we didn't touch on? I mean, just make sure everything has a place to go. You know, we talked about gutters, making sure that the water can run off and get yep. away from the house, you know, making sure there's no areas that water's gonna pull around the house. You know, on the backside of winter, or even during winter these years, we still get bad rainstorms. You yep. gotta account for that. I mean, last year the ground never froze. It was wet. Yeah. And check your basements. If we have a wet storm, Get down in there, check that basement. If you got an older house, you know, water has been a huge issue for the last 18 months or so. Keep an eye on it. Yep. And we're looking at getting more rain this afternoon. So, well, and listen, like guys. All day tomorrow, too. We got one minute. I want to wrap it up. Um, don't forget, holidays are coming up, guys. We're huge on the community, and your real estate referrals do help the community. So, we're on a mission to raise 50000 for Make a Wish Northeastern New York. Capital Region's Veteran Legacy Project and the Animal Protective Foundation. We actually donate a por- portion of every one of our commission sales to these foundations. And you guys can too by referring a friend, family member, colleague, work buddy, whoever. Anybody looking to buy or sell a house right now, not only are you going to uh, benefit from our award winning sales team, but we're actually going to take out some of a, a portion of all of our commissions and donate to these charities. So give us a call. And 957 sold, that's that's the direct line to the office, 957-7653. Want to thank Matt. Long, it's, it's been a while, man. You haven't been on a show. It's, I know, you know, I've been busy. I mean, those are good problems right, to have, right? right. They're good, good problems. problems to have. So want to thank Matt for coming on. Um, and how, how can we get a hold of you, Matt? Uh, so you can go to our website, acehomeny.com. Yep. You can give us a call at 518-727-7091 or give us an email at acehomeny at gmail.com. All right, guys. Well, listen, um, Johnny, it was a pleasure. Don't forget, next week's Thank show, you. got a surprise guest coming up on the All Your right. Home Soul Guaranteed Radio Talking Radio Show with me, Johnny B. You guys have a great Saturday. Thanks for listening.
The Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show is presented by Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, the property shop. Join broker and founder John Bevilacqua every Saturday morning at 830 to hear about the latest real estate trends here in the Capital Region, where to find the best mortgage rates, home insurance, home warranties, and more. To speak to John about buying or selling your home, call now to schedule an appointment. 518-957-SOLD. That's 518-957-7653. Or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. That's johnnyhasthebuyers.com.